Hello, I'm Steve Zagman from Grand Rapids, Michigan, and here to talk about Culture Shock. I guess Beijing, China is where I had the biggest culture shock. Imagine walking around a city street and people are just literally putting down their pants and taking a crap wherever. I'm actually from Hamburg and uh, the only thing that you can say was a culture shock to me was when I went to Australia because the people there are so open-minded, um, they are just friendly, they just talk to you. Um, it's certainly different to Germany. Hi, I'm Chris. I'm from uh, Germany. I live in uh, Nuremberg and uh, I was for work in uh, South Africa in uh, uh, jo Johannesburg and uh, I had there a culture shock because uh, uh, I was working there for a big company in a, in a power station and I uh, lived there in a, in a small uh, guest house and I was, it was a nice time. But the only thing is that uh, only the black people did all the uh, stuff like uh, uh, washing the clothes, clean the rooms and all so on. And we sit together at uh, one desk, only the white people and the black people, they, yeah, they had to do all the, the, the stuff. And so to, to see the difference between black and white, and I thought it was uh, 100 years ago in, in America. <laughs> Like literally, it's something you wouldn't expect to see anywhere in the Western world, but they do it in China. And that was a big culture shock in Beijing. Also in this time, we have the difference between black and white was for me a culture shock. Yeah. Positive thing to say because uh, we all here are a bit um, just like um, stuck to our own things and we don't care that much uh, about the others that, than the Australians. Probably not the most wholesome thing uh, you can imagine, but that is a culture shock. I think it was a great thing. 